Welcome back to Starfield. We are back in New Atlantis and we're going to continue on with this um, quest for Crimson Fleet. All that stuff that we got in the last episode, I don't know if we can hand uh, tell them about, tell the UC about different uh, things that went on and stuff, but we'll see. But right now we're going to go into the bank, can we Gal Bank. One more time? You can over rehearse, it'll sound can. we got to keep it loose. But I keep stumbling over the third quarter projections. We've been over it a million times. They won't care about a flawless presentation. What they will care about is the projected PR. And we've got that covered. Oh, we're going to own this, it? That's the spirit! <laughs> You're not gonna own the meeting. Okay. Oh, two guys work here, but well, we're going in here. We're going to the archives and apparently we can just walk right in mm. we have to talk to a security dude hello welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank archives may I see your credentials please here you go. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit and then I'll unseal the archives. You're acting a bit strange. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. I've got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. First day in the job. Hmm. Well, I hope you don't get fired, Mr. Security Guard. Cause you're a deal with the ecliptic ambush. What? What the heck? Why is there ecliptic ambush? <laughs> Stick your head out there, buddy. I know your people run in front of you too. You sound like you have a mini machine gun. Oh. What are you throwing grenades in here for? Why is there ecliptic in the archives? Uh, Mr. Security Guard? Where'd you go? Where did they go? Search the perimeter. Enemy fled. Initiating <laughs> Come on, come back out. trying to do <laughs> holy smokes dude relax do you say level 42 
You know what? Never mind. I'm coming up to get you. I thought that's. That um, can they not hear us in the bank here? These are the mercenary guys that work for the lady at uh, the Red Mile, isn't it? Very secure, is it? Are you sure it's secure? Then. How about you stand down this way? Holy smokes, buddy. Stop with the grenades already. Oh. Cover information regarding Galbing's lost transport. Okay. Jeez. How'd you guys get in here? Why is it not setting off any alarms? I use a sword on a starliner and you guys holy let's put the gun away before someone comes in Terra Brew Espresso any other bodies up here I gotta take care of Get up on the stairs. It's coffee. I want some coffee. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Can I put that in my house? I got your stuff, right? Yeah. Where's all your buddy? Oh, look at your little pushy. I've got your stuff. Where's your little buddies at? Hmm, there you are. No, I got your stuff too. I think that's everybody. Where do I have to go? Up there. Uh, there's only... There's only one door here. How did they get past that security guard on his first day? Hmm, that's interesting. Your first day and you're letting some mercs into the bank? You're not gonna survive that way. Espresso. Stolen, but I don't think anybody will care. In the archives. 
the lost ship registry the serendipity legacy prosperity screen. oh there's a whole bunch of them departure point alpha centauri uh, classified last known system is unknown oh that's not help much out of the legacy uh, departure point classified intended arrival point classified last known system position Bannock last known planetary location Bannock 4 search attempt 8 well I'll just have to go find it for you uh, these are all Oh, and you couldn't give me... Oh, wait. Here we go. This is the ship supremacy. Last known system position was Sol. Last known planetary location is Saturn. Okay. So I can get the second one. have been fitted with CBR type encrypted transponder beacons. These beacons pro program, uh, broadcast a predetermined long range unique signature ping using high frequency hyperburst scatter arrays. The arrays ensure that the beacons are always broadcasting at maximum spread. Okay. The independent self-contained power source that allows them to remain Detection cable for up to 250 years. Okay, so we can definitely use the transponder to find it. You are hereby consenting to observing pro pro proprietary materials belonging to Gale Bank. Ah, uh, no. Thank you. I'm keeping everything I find. I'm not even giving it to um, Delgado. He's not going to go downstairs. He's not getting anything. I'm keeping all the credits to myself. Uh, can I talk to this guy about letting criminals into the bank? Mr. Security Guard. Your first day on the job and people are robbing the bank already. Oh. You were a merc too, were you? No wonder you were acting strange. As for that, I'm going to steal your plant. See, he wasn't even a security guard. Or maybe he heard the gunfire and ran. Oh, no one's trying to kill me. I tried selling stuff, but I keep seeing them. Why am I over? Oh, I got some guns and stuff to sell now. Um, where can I sell stuff? Watch out, people. Isn't that a clothing store? Demons and mercantile should be over here. That's an apartment building. How? Concert, huh? Go to the spaceport.
that's Jameson Mercadile over there, okay. What a yob? What yob? Lady, do you got any? everything you need. If you don't, got any money want, left? To... Oh, please take a look. Oh, you got fourteen thousand. How about you buy some guns? Frenzy rip shank. Yeah, you can have that too. Press hard target. Oh, what's this? A space adept Varun pain blade. Oh, I'll keep that one, thank you. Why am I still over? Ecliptic pack. Nice and shiny, but I don't like it. A weird looking helmet. Uh, keep. Oh, wait. What's that? Ground crew? No, I don't want that. Oh, that's why it's. Because I got all these resources. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Um. Where is Phoenix? Might help productivity. Ah, never mind. Let's go. Where are we going? We're going to. Where are we going? I'm going back to the key. Why go to the key? I want to go to find that ship. I don't want to give him the information. doing up here I'll be down here ah can I jump up there and get past the scan I'll have to try that next time and see To go to the key and tell. Why do I want to tell that guy? I want to find this ship on my own. Just send one person with me so I can take them out. Take all this stuff and then say, nope, not in the Crimson Fleet anymore. I was only in it to be undercover. Level 50 to take these guys out. And we are locked in. Okay, all you people stay on this ship. I want to go talk to some pirates. Captain Joshua, hello. I, I said stay on this ship. To see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. I haven't slept yet. Get out of the way, pirate. What'd you call me? Huh? What'd you call me? Yeah, that's right. You walk away. Pirate. When I come back here later, I'm gonna take you all out. It's gonna be fun. So I'll have to worry about that guy. Get out of my way. On my tail. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Just chokes. And do you know what I find back there? The fattest leech I've ever seen. Uh, he found busted. a mirror. Is that guy lifting weights? Oh no, he's just lying down. Um. If you got any spare creds or just need to unload some junk, head to the depot. 
Oh yeah, gotta go upstairs. Where was the elevator again? That's the depot. The elevator must be on this side. Oh yeah, if you're doing here. any lifting later, I can spot you. Don't get freaky with me, guy. We haven't even met yet. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Why am I telling this guy? I should not tell him anything. I should go find it on my own. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, he's not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. Yes. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. See, this is ridiculous. Why ah, should I give it to so him? The Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. EM class gas giant? Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is giving off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps, and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Well, there's gotta be a way. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? I have Both a ton of copper. you shut up and think for a second? I'm sure Greeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Uh, yeah, maybe the data's wrong. No, no, this all makes sense. The data says the transport went down over Bannock 4, carrying currency during the Narian War. There were ships fighting across the entire galaxy back then. It's not that hard to believe this one got lost that far out from home. Oh, Crix wouldn't have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But... Before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that Comm Spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll figure this out. Promise. I promise? You gonna write that in your diary, little girl? All right, you that is enough. Punched? We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Don't worry, I'm gonna take you both out. Probably her first. Where are you going? You, uh, what the heck is that? The fleet protects our ward, but you turn against us. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you don't like elevators. Are you claustrophobic? Can I turn that robot on against you guys? So you're gonna talk to her or what? All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award or I'm not going to be very disappointed. I couldn't find it. You couldn't find it. Wow, Ruck. Just... Wow. You had one simple task. Bring me the award. That's it. It's so easy. I could have gotten Jazz's Model A to do the work. Well, congratulations. Not only did you miss out on the award cash, you're also gonna take a hit from your regular pay. That's how things work around here, so you better get used to it. All right, Fleet. We've got <laughs> work to do, so let's get to it. Screw you, lady. I'm keeping it. You need it? I've got it. But well, go on, you brought me here. Talk to the woman. The fleet's the only family you need. You're not gonna say anything. Well, oh, fine. You know anything what? Anything ship related? You're at the right place. Oh yeah, you're not the lady. Catch you I later. Want. I want uh, the people that sell stuff. You don't sell anything useful. As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. Yeah, you don't yeah. make it in this life. Weapons for all a if your credits are good. Just show me. Take some bullets. Ooh, forty millimeter. That's what I like to see. This is some um, Orion thing used. What kind of what's that? Fury feather. Do you go on Orion? Pirate legend. It does seven damage. That's not very much of a legend. There it is. You find Orion. What do you use? 3 kV laser. Okay. Laser cartridge. Will that do? Sure, why not? Oh, frag grenade. I'll take it. Oh, wait, Fancy you're supposed to buy stuff. You you're supposed to buy stuff from me. What am I over? No, I'm over on resources. I can't sell you resources. I can't sell you any of that stuff either. Can you buy from me here? I think I sold everything I wanted to. No, you can buy that. Uh, Uh, 
And I think I sold everything in here that I want to sell. Okay. Need more weapons or ammo? Come nope. see me. I don't need anything. I need to go report on my undercover activities. And maybe they can give me that calm spike. Should be able to just the tell him. You had to put up, shut up, or die. Just like not even uh, tell him about Hi. this stuff. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting. You should be able to just like take the information, go find the planet yourself. But it's a good thing I didn't, because now it's an EM planet. Text and up there. We're free. Okay, now where is this? Ship was hidden in some moon or something, right? Is it in that one or Olympus? Which one? They can give me well, the cons. We didn't put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, we're in the right place, alright. We're gonna go right here to the UCC village. Village. Vigilance. I can't talk today. Nice clean dog there. I'm too tired. Okay. You people just stay here and wait for me, okay? Don't tell anybody where we've been. Fast go. Yeah, good day. Get out of my face, man. What are you doing? Is that guy still on the brig? Can we talk to him? Oh, I guess not. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Well, it certainly wasn't yours. Yeah, and news travels fast around here. We told you we'd be keeping tabs on you. So, did you get information for us or not? Some of the Siren of the Stars passengers should be arrested. Nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to Lieutenant Dov after the debriefing. If the evidence pans out, you can visit those alleged criminals in our brig the next time you stop by the vigilance. But for now, what do you have on Delgado and his little ragtag group of pirates? Well, I was able to successfully steal the Galbank credentials. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Um, Let me see what um, you got. Dude. The legacy went down at Bannock 4. Forget that. Let's go back to the hit squad. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Well, the Gato will figure it out. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. No. I don't admire him, but you have to admit he's clever. I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for this assignment. That's enough, Lieutenant. <laughs> don't get Even mad. if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. 
No, there isn't. They think something called a comm spike will solve that problem. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. <laughs> it's a highly classified project. Except An advanced the pirates, signal no? decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Just, uh... Warn the UF's Navy? No. Why would you warn them? Are you any closer to convincing the Council to attack the Crimson Fleet? My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy, I've been told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. Do not can get their hands on it, because I'm going to end up with it. I'll report back with any evidence I recover. Perfect. Just stick with the plan, and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Me. Oh, 350 XP. Nice. Uh, Chicky, come back here. I gotta go this back to the This mission is going to remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Well, don't walk away from me then. Uh, yeah, why hold prisoners aboard the Vigilance? You could send them directly to prison. Two reasons. First, Commander Akande is playing this operation extremely close to the vest. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. Okay. Do you know where the comm spike is being developed? That information is classified, so even what I do know, I can't divulge. Now, I realize as part of this mission, you'll probably end up finding out anyway, but that's besides the point. For the sake of your cover, it's best you work with whatever information the fleet gives you. Fine. You don't even, didn't even know about this comm spike. You had no idea what it is. Okay, I got some evidence for you. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. Got this piece of information on a certain Gal Bank employee who was aboard the Siren of the Stars. Are That's you it. Me? Dombrowski was already making a six figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Any other fragments? Oh, no, because the other one got away. Understood. Keep searching, and you're bound to find more. I'll be here if you have any more questions. No. Darn, I couldn't... Early reports say your mission on the siren was a success. I'm sure the commander is pleased. Yeah, yeah, who cares? I'm just going along with it so I can get a shipload of credits. <laughs> siren of the stars, huh? What's this I hear about you Pretty getting ambushed fancy for a fleet? pirate. It wasn't an ambush, it was an accident. We grabbed jump to the same place at the same time. Stars? What system was that? Cheyenne Fen? Pretty much. It got so bad I had to dust off with half my ship dangling parts. Howdy. Howdy. How does this guy know about the Siren of the Stars? Where's the brig at again? I can't remember. Authorized personnel, docking ports. I don't want a docking port, I want the brig. Oh, the brig. Pardon. What's in there? The brig. <laughs> Sir, if I may speak freely, is there reason for the harsh reprimand? As far as I know, I just dragged a little mud into the brig. 
Soldier, have you ever heard of Trenchfoot? Can't say that I have, sir. Well, they say guards on Suvorov would sometimes trudge through cold, frost-wet trenches on their daily patrols. Prolonged wetness led to circulation and nerve damage, a.k.a. trench foot. Unable to perform, those guards were taken off duty, and security suffered, all because they didn't take the time to properly dry their feet. Do you see where I'm going with this? Don't you? I do. But if I may, I would argue that we're not on some frozen planet, sir. But you tracked in mud from your last mission. You brought in any number of microbial life forms, known and unknown, into my rig. These are direct threats to the health and safety of this crew, and by extension, the security of this brig. On my brig, cleanliness is a duty, and I suggest you take this duty seriously. And if not, I will have the commander relieve you of it. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Wow. Takes his job serious. Uh, there's nobody in the brig. Oh, you're still here. Can I talk to you? The brig's pretty cushy compared to some places I've been. Not most, but some. So I can't ask you anything. Be careful stuff around the fleet. They talk about family, but it's just a bunch of crap. It's okay. I'm only undercover to get the credits. Anyone in the brig up here? Just one person? Jeez. I'm not doing my job. What are you, special brig thing? Why are you in there? Cargo bay. Can't go there. Okay. Looks like we have to go back to the key. How's the pirating business? Wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll follow. Alex Vong, who are you? I don't know about you. Uh, that's because you don't know me. But what do you mean by that? People who work undercover, they're sneaky by nature. Hard to read. When I fly, I want someone beside me who I can predict. Boxes by the Marquess of Queensbury rules. But you, you're a Southpaw. A wild card. Okay, Queensberry rules? That is not somebody to trust. And you constantly wearing a helmet inside, buddy. I'm not gonna earn your trust. You don't even no, know No, I me. don't. But I do know the previous occupants of that interrogation chair you were sitting in. Not good people, to say the least. I think one of them even strangled a man. With his teeth. But if Commander Ikande says you're Sis Steph, then you are one of us. For now. Are you a pilot? You guessed it. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call FOGO, a firm grasp of the obvious. But I'm not just any pilot. I'm the best, and I've got the kills to prove it. Yeah, how many kills? I have a too cold on it. <laughs> I bet I could fly circles around you. I like your confidence. And there's always room in the squad for another Apex Predator. Just be sure you know whose side you're on. Oh, I do. Mine. And how did you get involved with this stuff? Long story. I got my start in the academy and made a name for myself hunting the Crimson Fleet. I eventually got recruited to do test flights on a star station orbiting Lloyd's Rock. Me and three other Archangel pilots did some work on some extremely dangerous prototypes. But I called in a few favors and got back home with Sistef. 
Someone with my talents needs to be here, where the action is. And where did you learn to fly? I cut my teeth on space trucks, believe it or not. Before I got my stripes, I was just another cargo hauler trying to earn an honest wage. But after a couple slick escapes, I got recruited to the academy and went from dodging pirates to hunting them. Thing is, some of my best tricks were with a big rig. Ever try a pitch back with a Hope Tech truck with two fleet wraiths on your tail? Compared to that, doing it with a military fighter is a piece of cake. Oh, actually I have with a Hope Tech truck. Stay frosty. What was your name again? Alex Ball. Okay. Hmm. Let's go, Vasco. Oh, hit the wrong button. Should have went right to the cockpit. This is the captain's quarters. Gotta go down. Get out of the way. Why are all the people get in captain's quarters? They shouldn't. What are you people doing? Oh, I thought it was someone sitting there. A brief there. history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. Uh-huh. What are these two doing? <laughs> you know, you have a hell of an effect on people around you. Really? You pervert your daughter standing right there. Jeez. At least get a room or something. What's wrong with you? It's a big giant ship, man. Lock her in one of the cells and <laughs> go, go off to the cabin or something. But not in my cabin. Stay out of there. Docking seat released. Okay, where are we going? Back to the key. So the chick finally found out what she needs. Oh, that's not the key. That's the key. Why is the ground jump not powered up? Corco, that room of yours better be clean next time I go in there. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. Here we go. This ain't like getting around to a tone. You understand? She doesn't have a room, Sam. How many times do I have to tell you Job that? Complete. It's my ship. She doesn't have a room. Take her back to your own ship if you want a room. They're going to say Captain they found Joshua. it. Greetings. Okay, Vasco, relax. Get out of the way. Seeing anyone right now? The Who the heck is Samina? I got a sore hip. Got a sore hip. Okay, old man. I don't know who Samina is. Have I met Samina? I don't think so. Oh, now you're ready to talk? All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Who is your right, smuggler Brooke. and Jameson? Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Is that the, um... Is that the chick that's in the trade authority? 
Definitely. Premium smuggling rings? We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like an SY920s case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. Sounds like she's undercover too. Okay, but useful. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Any clue what the device looks like? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Like Neva said, it's a prototype, so it could look like anything. Once you're inside SY920 and you're behind their firewalls, you should pick through their computer system. With any luck, it'll point you the right way. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're gonna need it. Because I am. How will Juan get me inside this station? She's got the clout to get you in the front door. They're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. Uh, so you don't care if I shoot my way through the place? Are you kidding? The UC's already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keep Way and his pals at Sysdef won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. Okie dokie. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. <laughs> okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. Calm spike in your cargo bay? Is that alluding to uh, synths and follow far? Why can't he tell me about one? The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put it to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. She definitely sounds like she's gonna cover. So if one asks why we need the comm spike, what do I tell her? I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Yeah, because I'm going to take it all. Stay sharp, Rook. Okay, I'll leave you here with your girlfriend while I do all the work. Typical. Just, um, couldn't you have told me all that stuff before I went to the UC?
dodge something? Cause I'll finish it. Oh yeah, sure you will. Hello, Captain. Let's go Vasco before I Oh I hit the wrong button again. I keep hitting the wrong one. I'm supposed to go. I hope right you're having a good day. Now. It's a rare thing to know that right here and now. Really? Hanging out on a spaceship while someone else flies around all the time? You have your own spaceship, Sam. Why are you not flying around? Okay, so we're gonna go back to New Atlantis. That's okay. Because I have to go to uh, the lodge anyways to drop off some stuff. So I'll do that and then in the next episode we will meet this Juan lady who I am pretty sure is undercover just like me. Maybe that UC guy um, tricked her into doing it too. Why does my grab jump keep going off? And we'll see about somehow getting on an EM gas giant. going to oh no it's the other way I'm going to try the um, jumping up over that fence and see not the fence the um, railing see how that works if you can avoid being scanned Maybe you can get into the city when you have a bounty. I should be able to jump that high with a boost in the pack. Oh. I don't have to. <laughs> I'm in the city already. Interesting. That's never happened before. Well, I guess it happens when you go to the lodge. So I guess if you... Wait a minute, how do you get down there? If you do it this way, it happens here too. Whoa, don't go down there. me in a weird spot let's see where this lady is before we end the episode I think she's in the water oh forgot I'm over encumbered hmm. is she under the water somehow in the basement of the mask building? I think so. Is that door? No, that's a window. Don't go jumping through windows. Oh, she 
definitely in the basement. She's in a research development. Oh hey, don't worry I haven't forgotten about you. I know I'm still on the payroll. She's not here. Smuggling contacts. Okay. That's weird. It looks like she's in the basement. Oh, oh that's where that guy is. This goes back and talk to him sometime too. Oh, what are you doing over oh, here? Get a better job. It basically pays for itself. I think I'm gonna get one. You're hiding in here in the subway. Are you in the? Oh, you're in the well. Did they say that already? I can't remember. That's why they put us over there. We could have just taken the elevator down. You're in a bar called K's, right? Firelight is doing some really exciting things with holograms. You're up there. No way! Yeah, I saw the trailer for some of their new products. Will this take me to K's? Yes, it will. Oh, hello. You do look kind of familiar. Well, we're going to talk to her in the next episode. We have a locked door. So I hope you'll come back and join me then. And I'll see you later. Bye.